Normally, making a custom chip costs tens of thousands of dollars. And don't forget another hundred thousand dollars for renting the design software. Oh, and you'll have to sign an NDA to get started. And by the way, that NDA means you can't share your design with anyone. Tiny Tape Out makes it easier, quicker and cheaper than ever before to get your designs onto a real chip. Open source tools, excellent documentation and a vibrant community helps to make it much easier to get started and avoid common mistakes. Tiny Tape Out is for students, for makers, hackers, universities and anyone who's interested in learning more or getting their designs made into a chip. All our learning resources and tools are free to use and they're online to avoid download and installation problems. If you're a total beginner, you can try Walkway, our digital design and simulator tool. Or, if you know what you're doing, you can use a hardware description language like Verilog, VHDL or Amaranth. Then, use our GitHub action-based system to build the files you need for the ASIC. This also lets you explore your design with this really cool 3D viewer. Once your design is finished, you can make an order. The minimum size is 160 by 100 microns, and that's just $100 including a PCB. If you need more space, you can buy extra tiles for $50 each. We also have special deals for group workshops and universities. You might be asking, how is it possible to get the price so low? The trick is that we combine all the little projects into one big design using our fast multiplexer. 160 by 100 microns doesn't sound like a lot, but in our three previous runs we've seen a load of interesting designs made, including RISC-V CPUs, FPGAs and lots more. One of my favourite things about this project is that not only are you going to get your design, but you're going to get everybody else's design as well. You'll be able to look through the chip's datasheet and try out someone else's design. Our previous three runs all used a slower scan chain, so this is a really big upgrade. We're now expecting around 50 MHz bandwidth on the I.O. Another upgrade is that we've now got more I.O. We have clock, reset, 8 inputs, 8 outputs and 8 bidirectional pins. Once the design is ready, we send it to eFabless and they'll manufacture it on the open source Skywater 130 nanometer process. I want to say a really big thanks to eFabless for sponsoring this project and making it possible. Once we get the silicon back, we save you the trouble of soldering by mounting it onto a PCB. You select which design you want to be active with these switches, and then the multiplexer connects the design to the inputs and the outputs. To get started, follow the video tutorials. Expect it to take between a few hours and a few weeks depending on how complex your design is. If you get stuck, join our Discord chat server. Make sure you sign up to the mailing list so that you know when submissions open. So have fun, get involved, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you make on your first ASIC.